talk to him. No, dude. Oh, we're gonna do it. You mean your hair is nice enough to do it? It's not, but let's do it. You're gonna make that sacrifice just for the update? We're not talking about it. <laughs> we're gonna do this right now. Okay. Two days left before the orphanage uh, officially would be evicted. So I know everybody's been asking about it and wondering what's going on. So we have an update here from the orphanage that was being evicted. We went and we saw Anith and she told us that they actually found another property that they might be able to rent. So they're looking into that one. And then as well, the property here uh, that they're supposed to be being evicted from gave them actually an extension of a month. So they have another month to either come up with the funds that they need or potentially there's another property which is in their price range that they might be able to rent as well, which is amazing, praise God. And then as well for the donations, thank you everyone who's donated. Thank you everyone who shared and liked. It's helped so much. Uh, so, so far, I don't have the exact figure because kind of funds are rolling in from kind of different sources and everything. We've raised about $15,000 together. So, an amazing amount of money. Like, and that's, um, that, that's great in Colombian pesos. That's huge, right? that's yeah. huge. Like, um, that would pay for more than a year probably of the rent. rent and everything. And, and they have to do fixing. Right, they have to do some repairs on when they do move out of the place that they're being evicted from. So, if they have to be, have to be so uh, we still don't know. Uh, God's really been, you know, working behind the scenes and getting everything done. So, so maybe they will be able to purchase it. We'll but if see. not, they it, they have the money to do all the repairs in the house, uh, so they can just yeah do everything there and pay for it. Then, then they will be able to pay for the actual moving, right? Like to get a truck and stuff and helpers to move out and then move in. Maybe. And they mean, you know, if they're moving into a new property, they're probably gonna have to make some changes to make it suitable for the kids, right? And, mm -hmm. um, get their, all their dormitories all set up and the kitchen and everything, Security, right? Security, everything, yeah. yeah. It's amazing, thank you guys so much. You guys have been amazing. We appreciate you so much. Uh, you guys are a huge blessing to these kids. And as well, uh, we're gonna continue on, hopefully next week, with our regular videos. We've just been so busy with moving between here and Medellin, Bogota and Medellin and back, and doing stuff at the orphanage. But we're, we're hopefully gonna be having everything back and on our regular schedule again. Thanks guys, appreciate it. We'll talk to you later.